cowards. Fierce your oblivion with some dignity. I don't think so. No, wait. Stop. Stop. What are you doing? Stop it. Stop. Aaron. What are you doing? You're doing it. Keep doing it. You cannot do this to me. You cannot. You did it, Aaron. Oh my God, I can't believe. What did you actually do? Those winds, they were, they were from the time vortex. I just feel them cutting through me, swarming all around me. I, I made them force him out. And now he's out there. In the time vortex. That's what he was going to do to us. Quite karmic, really. If you say so. Now what? Something happened to the doctor. Our doctor. Now we have a time machine. I say we stop it from ever happening. Can we do that? Who knows? But we have to try. Otherwise, anything could happen. No, this isn't happening. I am not about to be destroyed by the two weaklings. I am the Valyard. I am the end of time. I am the end of all beings. I will not die. I will not die. I will not die. to sense when something was wrong, wasn't he? And I can't feel anything. Well, we're here now. Yep. Wherever we are, it's cold. I looked it up on the month's databank before we arrived. It's called the Eye. The Eye? Apparently it's a sort of a way station for time travellers. Time doesn't really exist here. It's, it exists outside of our normal reality. And you think this is where whatever happened to the Doctor happened? If I read the charts right, but to be perfectly honest, it barely makes a lick of sense to me. I think I can feel him. Somewhere around here, he's, he's close. Closer than you think. <laughs> Do you really think your tawdry little parlor trick could stop me? Get away from her! <laughs> ah! Something your friend used to call Venusian Aikido. Rather useful, as it happens. Just one little press at a nerve center and she's paralyzed. You monster! <laughs> Don't be so melodramatic. In a few minutes, she'll wake up and be right as rain. As will you. Unfortunately, in that time, I'll be far away. Why have you come here? It can't just be a coincidence. You're clever. I can see why he likes you. No, I'm not here just by chance. I have to plant a seed. Plant a seed? What does that mean? You'll see, my dear. In time... I feel like people have been hitting me all over with hammers. It'll pass. Come on, sit up. It 
helps. What happened? The duck. The valyard. The scarpet. I don't know where. It shouldn't take us too long to track him down. There's not exactly anywhere he can hide. He said something about sowing a seed, I think it was. A seed? Are you sure? You won't have much luck with that here. There's only rocks and stones. Aren't rocks and stones the same thing? Ugh, it doesn't matter. I don't think that's what he meant by it. What's that? Over there? It looks like a person. Come on, let's get a better look. Stop, both of you. Again with the guns? Oh, I'm Deputy Castellan Cosra of the High Council of Gallifrey. State your name and intentions in being here. I'm Erin. This is Phoebe. We're just passing by. What are your original time zones? Humanian era? That's what the computer said, at least. Stand still. Hmm. Scanner doesn't recognize either of you. All right, on your way. Why are you here? I beg your pardon. Erin, please don't antagonize the nice man with a gun. It's a fair question. Why are you here? As it happens, I'm seeking a fugitive from justice. A time lord, if in name only, known as the Doctor. <laughs> you must be joking. Erin, man, gun! He has attempted to assassinate the Castellan and has evaded justice. His Artron trace was cut off. We believe he may be hiding out in a temporarily neutral zone such as here. The doctor assassinated someone? Yeah, that can't be right. Do you know him? Nope. Because if you did, I, I, I could have the pair of you detained back in Gallifrey for questioning. Like she said, we don't know him. All right. If you do see him, activate this. It's a tracker. Keep it on you, and if you get into any trouble, I'll find you. Cotter to High Council. I've cleared this area. Moving on to Section 47 now. Over. What do you think, Ben? You know the doctor. He wouldn't kill someone unless there was no other way. Maybe that's why the Valyard's here. We have to find the Doctor. Straight away. The old him, if he's really here. We have to split up. We'll cover twice as much area. Okay. Here. The tracker? Take it. I in case you get into trouble. Look, no offense, but I think you might need it more than me. You're the one that was still in hospital this morning. I'm also the one who can move things with her mind. I thought you trusted me. I do. It's just, I'd feel a lot better if you had it on you. So would I. Okay, if that's what you really want. Now come on, let's get a move on. Every second we spend squabbling, the further away he gets. Oh, Doctor, where can you be? I must have been walking for miles now. Five and a half, to be exact. You! Have you been following me? I have, as it happens, since you and your friend parted ways with that meddlesome little dullard from that high council. Why? Why do you think? Because the pair of you have interfered with my plans too often, and it's somewhat important to me that this goes well. So I'm taking a more prosaic action this time. Really? Dear, dear, dear. You seem to have forgotten something, Erin. Your abilities are time-based. And the eye exists outside of time. Meaning that right now, frankly, you're as useful as a chocolate teapot. What are you doing? I wouldn't worry too much about it, my dear. If you had taken the tracker, I'd have just opted for your friend instead. Fortunately for you, time lords are five times stronger than the average human. With any luck, it'll be quick. No, stop! Such a mess. Now then, one down, one 
to go. Oh, blimey, it's starting to get cold. Wish I bought a proper coat now. Oh, hang on. That's the TARDIS. The actual TARDIS. Oh, you beautiful thing. Oh, I never thought I'd miss a police box. It would seem. I couldn't risk one of you two getting to my previous self first, now could I? Where's Erin? It's no matter. Where is she? In a few minutes, I'll have sealed the fear to the entire universe. I hardly think one little person matters. Then you're definitely not the Doctor. Not by a million miles. How observant of you to notice. Stand aside. No. Do you think you'll make a last stand? My dear, the only reason I'm offering you a chance to move is to avoid getting more blood stains on my coat. Now move. Then you'll just have to kill me. Very well. Needs must when the devil drives, as they say. What was that? You're right. I can't do anything to stop you. But there's someone who can. You. Deputy Castellan Cosser of the High Council of Gallifrey. You summoned me? Scan him. Go on. Don't be so ridiculous. Stand still, please. Confirmed. You are the renegade time lord known as the Doctor. Use your eyes, not your machine. I'm not the same incarnation you're looking for. In which case, I then use the power vested in me to detain you under General Sanction 3. That no Gallifreyan shall willingly cross his or her individual timeline. I don't have time for this. Stand down, sir. Not many things can kill a Time Lord, but a Staser Blast is one of them. And you'd kill me, would you, Kosra? One of the greatest Gallifreyans ever to breathe, cut down by a jumped-up bean counter. <laughs> whoa, 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 what's all this? You. You're from the High Council. And what about you two? You have to autograph or something? Oh, for the love of Rassilon. At last, contact. What are they doing? A form of telepathic data transfer. Data transfer? But that would mean... Oh, no. What's the matter? That man, he's not Doctor. I mean, he is, but... He called himself the... the Valyard. The Valyard? You can't be serious. I'm afraid so. All Time Lords have a benign entity inside them, with the potential to distort their personality. Upon their last natural regeneration, this element can sometimes be triggered. This is why the limit is set at 13, to stop it happening. And the Doctors is called the Valyard. Yes, so the rumours go. We need to stop them. If we interfere now, he could die. And if we don't, the whole universe could. Give me that! That Staser is property of the High Council. I don't believe you just did that. You shot me? And if you've as much as laid a finger on Erin, believe me, a gun will be the least of your worries. Back away from him now. Humans. Savage as always. You, other doctor, are you alright? I am. I can feel him. In my mind. He's there. You're too late. The job's done. You can do what you like with me now. It won't change a thing. I have to report this back to the High Council. You can't just- It wasn't a request. Doctor, just listen to my voice. Focus on it. Are you listening? I can hear you. Good. Now, you won't know me. If this doesn't work, you might never know me, but my name is Phoebe. I'm your friend. That thing in your mind, that's what me and your other friend came here to stop. Can you hear me? 
I can't stop it. You have to. For all of us, please, you have to try. Don't listen to her. I am your destiny. Oh, shut up. He is nothing. He'll only ever be nothing. I am your future set in stone. What's that you're always saying? The future is whatever you make it? your friend? That's a bit of a tricky question. Did it work? Yes, it did. Phoebe, wasn't it? That's right. Well, Phoebe, he was never here to begin with, depending on your point of view. But he was here. We saw him. Yes. Confusing, isn't it? Well, the timeline should be sorting itself out now. The winds of time will blow over this place, put everything back to normal. And... and what about you? Oh, I've got places to go, things to do, people to see. I'll be fine. Goodbye, Phoebe. Goodbye, Doctor. Oh, just one last thing. Is that really what I'll look like in the future? Yep. <sighs> Could be worse, I suppose. Could always put off regenerating. <laughs> Ever thought about a female form? <laughs> you can't hold back the winds, Phoebe. What's happening? It's all right. Everything's fine. We're back where we started. And Erin? I'm fine. We all are. The TARDIS knew what it was doing. Putting you down in the eye, anywhere else, and that sort of paradox might have just punched one too many holes in the space-time continuum. But we were lucky. I can still remember what happened. That'll be the eye. Don't worry about it. The original timeline's gone. Forever. So, everything's alright now? Not alright. The Valyard's still in my head. Like he always was. But? But it's better than it was. I can control him now. Or at least, stop him controlling me. It seems I owe you two a thank you. If you hadn't stopped the Valyard... What else are friends for? Quite. Now we've got a TARDIS to find. Right, you two. No time to lose. Places to go, things to do. People to see? Not getting boring, am I? Not in a million years. That's what I like to hear. Helmet regulator is now holding steady, bismuth count is falling, and the Zeus plugs are working fine. Well, Doctor, I'd say this might just be your best DIY job yet. Ah! Oh! Oh, ow! Oh! Ah, the, the timelines! They're... they're changing! Ah. Oh, well... I suppose this was bound to happen again sooner or later. Right then. I think it's time that I put in an appearance. 